shadows of some 33 years rise again, wealthy, and voices shout in the streets. Tonight is Halloween! conspiracy to try and create a riot. The majority have spent the most of that day with us backs to the police running away and unfortunately 96 of us comrades got clobbered and, and arrested. They were all released without charge when the trial fell apart and the trial fell apart because the police were proven to have lied. The attempt by the police to cover up what happened afterwards at Hillsborough due on the same methods used at Orgreave. And no one may have died on that particular day at Orgreave, but sadly many have since. It's not very long ago that we had our, our annual memorial service. This year it was at Selby. And at that point it also makes me think about the amount of people who's no longer with us. The amount of my friends that's no longer with us. Who I promised that I would do my utmost to get justice for. Because they turned out at Orgreave to get battered to a pulp. We got so close to an inquiry that we got a big slap on the face on the 1st of October last year. We knew it was a Tory government we were asking for an inquiry from, but we only got our hopes up because that's what we were led by them to believe. First led by Theresa May and then by Amber Rudd. And what were Amber Rudd's decisions for not having an inquiry? She said no inquiry was needed because nobody died. Because there were no miscarriages of justice and that the police have nothing new to learn. To say there was no miscarriage of justice or convictions is a downright cheek. Minors spent time in prison, were wrongfully arrested and maliciously prosecuted. She also said it's a long time ago. Things have moved on. The police have learnt lessons. We'll tell the fracking protesters about the lessons that the police have learned. What really epitomised the miners' strike was the amount of solidarity that it received because people realised that there was a massive battle going on. We lost that fight and we've suffered for 40 years as a result of having lost that fight. That's why we remember it. That is why we make the links between the environmental movement, between the fracking movement, between what's being done to us now and what was done to you 40 years ago. Norman Teddy, he said... An inquiry could have been used as a stick with which to beat the Thatcher government. I've got news for Amber Rudd and the Tories. Margaret Thatcher's still dead and we're still here. Yeah. When well, you've done wrong in the position of power and authority, then you have, to be, you have to be questioned about it. And you have to be accountable for your actions. Otherwise, you can't move forward. a year ago we have worked hard and secured the release of never before released files into the public domain and lo and behold what do we find in those newly released papers the Tories never wanted an inquiry into Orgreave Leon Britton he said in a January 1985 meeting he remained of the view that the government should not encourage any form of public inquiry into the conduct of police during the miners' dispute. And then a 1991 briefing on policing at Orgreave said that the government does not believe that a public inquiry into police operations during the miners' strike is necessary. They were feeling that there was more to lose than to gain. I am one of many women who have now taken legal action against the Metropolitan Police. 
after we found out we had been deceived into a long-term and intimate relationship with undercover police officers. We are part of a secret political policing squad that run this country. These secret squads infiltrated our campaign groups, the trade union movement, with the sole purpose to spy on them. They also shared information with companies involved in the blacklisting campaign, which many workers still suffer from today. It has now been confirmed that they spied on over 1,000 groups in this country since 1968. Those beaten, framed by the police at Orgreave deserve the truth and they deserve the public to know the, ex the extent at which the state will go to, to undermine our movement. We continue to press with a further release of papers from the time, including trying to get the release of some papers that are embargoed until 2066. Augury, Hillsborough, Grenfell! If we don't get no justice! No peace for Tory's No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! PCS Union is well known for speaking out against this government, taking industrial action over pay, pensions and our services. And earlier this year, just as the 50% threshold for ballots was implemented, this government announced a plan to close over 70 local job centres. Today marks the 33rd day of strike action by the PCS members at Eastern Avenue Job Centre, fighting to keep the job centre open. And they will stay on strike until the closure date of the 17th of November. It has eight wards in total. Seven wards have higher than the UK average of people cl claiming benefits. One of those wards has nearly two two and a half times the national average claiming benefits. 6,688 households in the Manor Estate are classed as deprived out of 9,063. When we served the government notice of our strike, they decided to bring the closure date of that job centre forward by another further two weeks. Not telling any of the customers, not telling any of the vulnerable customers there that need that service. So please, if you can join us on the picket line, we're there every day, seven till 10. We will not stand by and let these local services be destroyed. of our strike we've not gone away they can only win if we pack in an inquiry into Orgreave is now Labour Party policy it's in the manifesto and it's not just our campaign that's included an inquiry into blacklisting and it also includes a commitment for the release of all the papers on the Shrewsbury 24 and the Camel Laird Dockers if we not wasted two years fighting people within our own ranks. We wouldn't be calling on the Tories to have a public inquiry. We'd have a Labour government led by a socialist giving us an inquiry. Yeah! We want justice for Shrewsbury. We want justice for Orgreave. Justice for Grenfell. Justice for those people raped by the state. But most importantly, I think we have to take it a step further. Not just justice, we want our revenge. For too long we've suffered. The ultimate revenge. Let's get the Tories out. Let's replace them. Not just with a Labour government, but with a socialist government.